Six months ago, I was back at the BBC. It was a drinks reception to celebrate 45 years of the goodies, and Bill Oddie had invited me as his plus one, mindful that he might bump into Chris Packham and lamp him for stealing the spring watch gig. As usual, my focus was on keeping Oddie calm. He's grown wise to me, slipping rescue remedy into his Merlot, so I always make sure I have my iPad with me. That way, if we do have a flare-up, Bill can go and sit in the back of the car and look at pictures of birds. I also confiscate his glasses so he can't scan the room for enemies. Yet that evening, something else caught my attention. It was the sound of braying broadcasters proclaiming that we were now in the golden age of TV. A golden age? More like a golden shower. Hmm. If you work in television, you're probably spluttering something about the mass appeal of Strictly Come Dancing or how cutting-edge Game of Thrones is with its sandals and dragons and occasional breasts. Personally, I failed to see what's cutting edge about a dragon. They were used to advertise mouthwash in the 80s, and they've been extinct for millions of years. Everywhere you look, there are signs of decline. Our newsreaders now stand up. Our chat show hosts don't chat. Our TV detectives take a serious art to suss out what Bergerac managed in an hour. Admittedly, the kind of canny problem-solving you'd expect from a guy residing in the tax haven. No, it's obvious to those of us with our finger on the pulse that the future is not in TV. It's in books, E and paper. And that's why I was happy to sign up with Orion to bring you Alan Partridge, colon, Nomad. Nomad brings you the story of a one-man walk I undertook to try to learn about who I really am. I was able to use transport when essential, but I set myself one caveat. No unlicensed minicabs. Through witty vignettes, heavy essays, and not inducing pieces of wisdom, I shine a light on the nooks of the nation and the crannies of myself. It's a piece of work of which I'm immensely proud, and if I had to sum it up in one word, that word would quite simply be... Hope. I shall take my leave of you now. Thank you, and enjoy your weekend. If it is the weekend. Uh, you might be watching this on a Tuesday, so... Yeah, just enjoy the next two days. <laughs>